Hey you guys, <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be a real quick video on Moto. I just got Moto 401 today, and I'm going to have several videos coming up talking about how to use the presets and all the new goodies inside there. The first one is going to be a real quick tip on how to use the grass slash fur slash fiber option in the new Moto 401. As you can see, let me go ahead and grab a render. And this is what it looks like with stock bone stock settings with a green color applied as you can see it looks really good okay we got the shadows of the grass even on the little block there but um the easiest way to go about doing this as you can see I've laid down a basic um, cube and a plane that's all I've done and I've just double clicked the cube and I've hit the letter M as in material and I named this name this one fur two and I'll make it the color green make it a little darker and say okay as you can see that colored that green give it that material okay so now if we go over to our shader tree there will be that material that we just created see there it is fur two so I'm going to open it up I want to select the material that's in there then to this material that's already in there, I'm going to want to add a layer. So I'm going to go to add layer. I'm going to say fur material. Okay, now that will give us our basic fur material. Now if we go to our render tab, you see now we have our grass. Let me render it for you. And there's ways to comb it, make it thinner, make it lighter, make it, make it glow like fiber optics, make it oh my god there's so many options that we're just gonna have to have go over with several videos so this was just to get you started how to apply this new fur fiber texture to an object um, that's all this was intended not to tell you how to comb it or to make it look a certain way just to tell you how to apply it it's a good start so uh, I hope to see you in future modeling videos I have plenty coming we're gonna finish the mech then we're gonna start on a uh, locomotive and we'll also throw in a few Moto 401 videos along the way, too, on how to do a few things with their new stuff. So thanks for watching.